What's up, everybody? Prefix Wiz coming back at you with another Unity tutorial. Today, continuing our series on the Unity GUI, we're going to be talking about the tooltip, and I mean the in game tooltip. But before we get started on that, I just want to briefly say thank you to everybody that has supported me thus far. We've reached 50 subscriptions. That's awesome. You guys are taking it and sharing it, and I completely appreciate that. Um, you know my motto if it helps just one person, then it's all worth it. But right now it's up to 50 and I'm that's again I'm grateful for that. So without further ado, let's get started. Double digit In-game tooltips. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. All right. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a plane 3D object. Let's go ahead and set its position to 000. zero, zero. All right, once you have the plane set up, let's go ahead and create two cubes. So now we should have two, and let's go ahead and raise it up. All right, next we're just going to create two materials. Um, let's just go with red and blue, so that way we can clearly see the difference between the cubes. Okay, once that's completed, let's go ahead and go into scripts, right click, and create C Sharp script, and let's just name it Tool Tips. And let's hit enter, and let's double click it to open it up in Mono Develop. Okay, once Mono Develop's open, let's just go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need it right now. We do need using Unity Engine.UI because we're going to be working with the UI to create this tooltip. Then we're going to create just a few public variables. So the first two public variables, let's do, let's say we want to know a name and the info of the object. So first we're going to start out with two public strings. One's going to be an object name. The other one's going to be an object info. So we can fill that in in the inspector. Uh, but we also want to include a text area for the public string object info. So this is going to make this a large box. That way we can type a plethora of information in there. So we have a public string for the object name and a public string for the object info. So we'll just go ahead and do a header here. Okay, so down here we're going to create another header. All of these next public variables are going to be variables that will display this information. So as you can see here, we have a public variable to actually type in a name that we want. We actually have a public variable to type in information that we want to display. And then down here, we're gonna use specific UI elements to display that information. Okay, so in our mouse enter, all we're gonna do is set the window to active because when we first start the game, it's going to be inactive. So that way it's not seen, it's not visible, but it's around. Then we're gonna to check to make sure that it is active and ready to roll. That way it doesn't break anything in the game. So if the tooltip window is not equal null, then we're gonna do this. So what we're going to do is display the information that we decide to set. Okay, so we're going to use that text component and we're going to display that information. And then, of course, on mouse exit, all we want to do is turn it off. So as soon as the mouse pointer leaves the collider of that object, it just turns off the window. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back into Unity and let's go ahead and put these scripts on these two cubes so let's just highlight both cubes and drop the scripts in there okay so as you can see here it's it's looking for a tooltip window it's looking for a display name and it's looking for a display info so what we need to do now is go ahead and just create ui and let's create a panel so once we create the panel let's just go ahead and drop it down to the upper left you know, somewhere simple. And then in inside this panel, we're gonna go ahead and create the text. Let's go ahead and name it text name, and we'll just put a placeholder for name in here. We'll go ahead and set the alignment to center and center, and we'll go ahead and do best fit and bold. All right, and let's go ahead and just put that at the top somewhere. So next we're going to just duplicate that, bring it down a little bit and increase the box size, and we'll name this text info and we'll just go down here to this part and say info and we'll just do normal top left and we won't do best fit here let's go ahead and increase that info to 20 let's go ahead and rename this panel to tool tip okay so now that we have those game objects let's go ahead and go back into the cube and as you can see here on both cubes it's looking for a target window so tool tip window is a game object we're not going to use the canvas we'll just leave the canvas on that's okay but what we're going to use is the tool tip window itself so we're just going to drag that in there. Then we're going to grab the name and put that in the text. Grab the info, put that in the info section. And in here, what we're going to do is click on each cube individually. We'll call the name of this a blue cube and all the info for it will go here. And we're just going to go down to the red cube and say this is the red cube. 
And last but not least, we're going to deactivate the tooltip window. We do not want it active in the scene. So when we were to hit play, the scene is now active. Whenever I drag my mouse over top of one of these game objects, it is colliding with it. The tooltip window activates. If I were to leave the blue cube, it deactivates. And now the red cube will populate it with the red cubes information. And that is a pretty simple way to create tooltips. Of course, you can make it look a lot better, but this is the basics of creating a tooltip. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, this is just some basic information to help you get started on your project. Uh, if it helped you, click that like button. In either case, subscribe.